Hey guys, Moms Against Medical Bullying. I just wanted to share this article from this local um, news outlet or whatever. Um, So it says, two sisters at Villa Hills Monastery die from COVID-19 after 28 of them test positive. So they say here at a Northern Kentucky monastery, uh, the COVID-19 outbreak at a Northern Kentucky monastery claimed the lives of two nuns as more than two dozen other sisters tested positive. The question is, how did the coronavirus get in? During the pandemic, the Sisters of St. Wahlberg closed a monastery to visitors and had no religious services in hopes of staying healthy. So I think that question is ridiculous because if they believe the virus is something that floats around, like how do you how do you think it gets in the first person in order to keep spreading to the next and the next? I mean, what a dumb question. Because if you truly believe in viruses and that they can just attack you from the air, you know what I'm saying? There has to, in, in their logic, it has to start with one person. Like one person has to get it. Well, where does that original person get it from, right? So, I mean, if they believe viruses can just float through the air... I mean, it shouldn't be a question. Anyways, I just thought that that was silly. So anyways, it says, until last week, that was the case. We were very shocked by it because we've been extremely closed down. We have not gone anywhere to speak of, and we haven't had visitors, said sub Prioris Nancy Cordenbrock. 28 of the 35 sisters tested positive, and sadly, two of them passed away. So here's my other question. If they all live together in this monastery, right, that's what it is, um, how come all of them didn't get it, right? So 28 of the 35 tested positive, and sadly, two of them passed away. Both of them are elderly and had some health issues and were not able to compete with COVID-19. COVID, okay. Senior Charles Wolking and Senior Rita Bills were both in their 90s, and both were women at the monastery, were important women. I I never um, knew a woman named Charles. That's interesting. Thankfully, the other sisters did get antibody infusions at St. Elizabeth Hospital. Their symptoms vary, and one sister uh, remains hospitalized. So all 28 sisters got these infusions? I don't know. Maybe the currently in ICU, but we think she will be moved from there. She's doing so much better. She had serious respiratory issues. Another sister had been in the hospital but came home. The outbreak comes just two days. This this is what I think is interesting. They actually admit it. So it says the outbreak comes just two days after the sisters got their COVID nineteen vaccine shot. So I'm like wondering: Is the writer of this news article do they know something? Because they're acting like they do. Because they start out with the question, how did the coronavirus get in? And then they mention in the article that the outbreak comes two days after they got the shot. So obviously, guys, they got sick because they were poisoned. This is actually way more common than you might think, says Dr. Stephen Visa. Here comes the doctors to come in with the gaslighting, right? To make us think that we're not seeing what we're seeing. Dr. Fegans is the Hamilton County Public Health Director. He says in cases like this, the vaccine's effect isn't lessened. It just delays getting the second dose. (laughs) I guess they completely ignore the fact that all of this happened after the vaccine. So I guess because they got sick, they can't get the second dose right away. Whenever you get it, you get it. So we consider the 21 days minimum. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Whenever you get it, you get it. (laughs) Whenever you get it, you get it. That's so professional. So we consider the 21 days minimum, said Dr. Fegans. For the sisters, they're getting better and thankful for the Villa Madonna community. The support and prayers has just been such a blessing for us. And we can't say how much we appreciate it. It's been phenomenal. And then they end with this punchline. The sisters will receive their second dose of the vaccine in May. So they get a vaccine and many of them become ill and two of them die. But they're going to get their second dose in May. 
I mean, I don't know if they write this stuff just to see how dumb people are. Just expose how silly people are. I'm not sure. But this is wild. So they're going to get their second dose in May. Alright guys, I just wanted to share that because it's just kind of crazy.